So today what we're going to be working on is some more textures. So one of the things that we needed to do was work on the remaining um, wood textures and I wanted to uh, get the um, stripped versions, the doors, the trap doors, and the planks I believe and there was maybe one or two other textures that I can't remember but uh, I needed to create a palette uh, that was a little bit more uh, variant in the scale of what uh, we were going to work with uh, so I wanted a couple more shades just to kind of help with the outline and I was just basically setting up the um, you know, trying to keep the difference between the shades different, but not so vibrant that it was too much contrast, just something to work with. I, I wasn't sure if I was going to go with a, um, like a actual, like have screws in the boards or not for the planks, but um, I, I wanted to see what we had for the palette and basically copy that over to our existing one. So we had something to work with in the future. So after I did that, I basically wanted to just select a random value somewhere between these two or those three last three ones. And I wanted to kind of make a rough shape of the planks. Now, once I started working on the planks, I needed to figure out the actual um, rough shape that I was going to work with. I didn't want to go with the same vanilla shape because uh, we haven't been doing that all throughout this season so or this series so I wanted to make something that was basically you know unique enough where it will basically go ahead and you know give some variety for the planks and stuff. Um, we have a 32 by 32 image here so we can test the tiling and I already noticed some issues with this. So the basically the outline for this should be something like that. And if we move it over, it should align properly now. But we still have a few different pixels that need to be worked on. Um, for example, there was those little parts right there that needed uh, to be updated. So we had them all connecting. And as you can see, that's basically what the general shape will look like, which will, I think, look really good when it's finished. And then we have all the uh, parts in here. So what I'm going to do is basically just kind of outline these little parts right at the end here. And that will hopefully give it a little bit more um, color for the, the shapes and stuff. And we'll do this for all the sides that basically have junctions with the pixels and then we'll add some extra texture just to offset it just a little bit. Uh, we don't want too much detail but um, trying to keep it as simplified as possible uh, can be a little bit hard at times. Uh, having it too pixelated will um, not look as good. It will seem when you're early on in pixel art that it looks good but you know the more simple uh, shapes and stuff that you can actually generate the sometimes better results that it can be. So basically I started messing around with the actual shade and I removed a lot of these pixels at, at the end to um, uh, just kind of see what the variety would be. And I'm trying to go with the grain of the shape itself to kind of bring the planks uh, together. So basically what I wanted to do was add a whole bunch of other pixels in here. And uh, like I said, I, I removed a lot of the uh, actual um, lines that I ended up drawing. I ended up removing like about 50% or so, just so it was simplified. And it looked a lot better than what I basically just drew. So uh, we'll, we'll see that in later on. But uh, basically I wanted to add a couple extra shades per thing just so it was a little bit more variant, uh, has more variety and stuff. So basically this is what I'm doing right now. I'm just trying to figure out the right places for the colors and trying to give it enough balance. So once I've done that, I have um, I think I've already removed about 50% of the yeast shapes as you can see at the top there. And basically I've been testing it in the 32 as I'm going along and basically just going ahead and uh, removing some of the colors, giving it transparent, or not transparency, but like working it into the actual shape. And some of these ones can actually be removed. I'm trying to keep the colors balanced for the values that I'm using as well. 
So basically, as you see here, that I have that medium texture, that medium shade, uh, about 50% of the actual color itself, and that seemed to work uh, roughly for the texture itself. You'll see that later on, hopefully. But uh, as we kind of space out the thing, as you can see here, the texture itself looks a lot better with the minimum uh, detail. So we're going to do that for the um, bottom one as well. I'm going to try to actually design that uh, from scratch. So uh, without actually editing the um, texture and it's a lot harder to do it right off the bat than you know blending in the shapes from initially so uh, you know you can always start out that way because I ended up copying this and then going back into the um, the actual thing and it, it did take a while so for the bark texture for the stripped bark um, I will be basically going ahead and doing what I did with the um, the planks I'm going to be using the plank colors for that and we're going to basically replace a lot of these shapes with the existing ones so we can kind of merge these two things in and I'm just going to basically fill these parts in and we'll see what we can come up with for some of the shapes so I don't want to use the exact same pattern um, for the um, stripped version for the log because that would just not be as unique so I would uh, basically basically what I'm doing is I'm basically filling these in so I don't have a reference and then I'm going to go ahead and just kind of start texturing something a little bit different uh, that could play a little bit of a different role so basically I decided to go with kind of like a line thing like this uh, this still gives it a little bit of noise but also uh, gives you a different pattern that could be used so I was thinking about doing the um, texture like this but I ended up doing it alternating for the top and bottom uh, so basically I did rows or columns instead of rows uh, like I'm doing now so uh, I had to re rework a few things but um, I, I just noticed that it was too uh, patternated with that system and then for the logs, basically I was just using the same color palette. The logs were a little bit different. I, I don't know what I did with this one initially, I can't remember. But um, I basically had to go ahead and kind of blend in everything that we basically have been working with. And that was a little bit harder to do than what I was hoping. But um, I ended up, when I got to that part there, I needed to figure out a shade that would work for the stripped part because I needed something that would blend, like separate it, but I also didn't need, like, want to have it not, um, you know, the same color and stuff. So I basically used the darkest shade that we had available, and that seemed to work fine for that. Now the lighter shade's a little bit different, uh, difficult to kind of work in. I used a lighter one still, but uh, I had to figure out what shade to use. So basically that's the stripped version and um, I just wanted to add some extra detail uh, to the the blocks like the the sides themselves because uh, it was pretty plain, uh, like basic that we had before so it was plain and I wanted to add a little bit extra um, lighter color just to kind of blend it in with the same texture as the strip side version. Uh, this will make more sense when we actually go ahead and do the comparison. So as you can see here, uh, that's basically what we had there. And basically what I'm working on now is, I think it's the um, trapdoor I wanted to work on. So I needed to work on the trapdoor and then it will also be the window for our door as well. So basically I wanted to cut out the parts that we um, those little spiky parts that we, those shapes that we created. And I wanted to see if I can't uh, get a lot of these uh, set up where the tiles are alternate uh, thing. But then I ran into a whole problem with the, uh, the way that it was set up. So I needed to go ahead and basically remove a whole bunch of these shapes. And then I needed to basically shift that whole system, that bottom row up. So 
uh, basically I just copied all the pix the pixels here and then I just moved them up one and that basically fixed that issue but then we had to rearrange the bottom uh, pixel part so I just moved that bottom one down and actually I think I just painted it on because those pixels weren't actually the same color so that was basically the window part but then I wanted to add some extra detail to it so basically what I was ending up with was basically having to balance between different shades. Um, I wanted to go with something that was still the bark texture, uh, but I didn't want the entire thing. So basically when I got it done, that's basically the texture that I created. And uh, we'll implement that into our trap door in a little bit, but uh, we still need to make the door part, which is going to require a little bit of change. So I copied the texture itself. So I can move it on to a temporary um, location so we can copy the actual window part. And then what I moved over to was just pasting that into the planked version. So like the default part. And then I needed to figure out where the hinges were going to be. And with our design, we actually have it perfect for a door. So we have that three block uh, gap, which is exactly what we need for the thing. So I needed to kind of figure out the location for both of these and basically the shades that I was going to go with. So I was going to go with a little bit of a darker uh, color here so we can basically paste those in on those sides. And I needed a handle. So I'm hoping the handle will turn out fine. Um, what I ended up doing was just basically replacing that part so the planks connect uh, seamlessly. And then what we needed to do was we needed to go ahead and basically create I wanted kind of like a loop, like one of those old handle door things. So basically what I worked on was just kind of creating a beginning part for the, the loop there. So it will be between the two blocks. And then for the bottom half of the block, uh, what I needed to do is open up that so I could figure out the hinge part. And I needed to recreate the, um, the bottom part here. So basically I've replaced all that like this and then we needed to update the um, hinges for the bottom block. Now I'm not going to put a window on the bottom block just on the top one similar to the oak door uh, where that one only has a top door. I think it only has a top uh, window. I'm not sure I can't remember but these are basically all the textures that I created. This one has a little bit of shadow and um, can't remember what I was yeah this is the the door that I was working on so basically I wanted to get this all set up for the the bottom half of the door and I need to figure out where I was going to end up putting the hinge so I think it was right about here is where I needed it so I needed to grab the dark shade and then paste that there and once I got that done I could save the top of the door and the bottom of the door and I'm just hoping that all the textures are set up properly uh, and ready for basically importing so I'm just basically saving that to our um, texture um, folder so we can basically go ahead and use that later uh, anyhow yeah, that's all that I have time for today thanks for watching if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time